Okay, so I'm starting to dig potatoes now. I leave the potatoes in the ground until we need them. They keep better in the ground. The only issue is that if the soil washes away, you get this green sun exposure, which makes the potatoes not fit to eat. But the main thing I wanted to show is that I dig potatoes at this point by hand. When I first started out gardening here, we did use a pitchfork and you got a lot of ruined potatoes that way. Over time, the soil texture, the tilth of the soil has developed to the point where I don't need to use any tools anymore to dig the potatoes. So I wanted to do a little demonstration of uh, hand digging these things and what the soil is like. Also the life in the soil, there's a shocking amount of activity in the soil now, even in what's uh, mid to late fall. So we'll watch out here a little bit and see what we can, what we can capture. This is junk. 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 All right, so here. Okay. Got a nice, nice potato there. Put it in the bin. Go. Another nice potato. Then another nice potato. Oh, that one's a little. This one's a little wonky, but I think we'll throw it away. All right, what do we got here? one so the soil is just about to the texture of potting soil now after about 10 years oh there we got a real nice potato there look at that that guy that little buddy there get off my hand there bud oh let's uh there's another one oh we got another one there too nice potatoes let's turn this up a little bit here and then let's try to see what we got living in here nice potato. so there's earthworms sow bugs or pill bugs I've seen crickets beetles ants At some point here there were a lot of centipedes earlier, though I don't see a lot of centipedes now. Some pretty big, cool looking centipedes actually earlier. And you can see the uh, huge amount of organic matter in the soil. Depending on what I'm planting each year, I manage the beds and the soil differently. Potatoes, I dig a big trench down the center of a row. I fill the trench up about halfway with manure. And then I plant the potatoes and then I fill the trench in. Other beds, I will do the same thing for or I'll pile up manure on top of the row. And sometimes use straw for mulch as well. There's a bunch of little critters in there. These potatoes, this is Kennebec. Kennebec is a good variety. I found that out of everything we've tried, and we've tried dozens, and I've grown potatoes from true potato seed as well. Kennebec is the longest keeping and the most productive. There's certainly better tasting potatoes. This is not a bad tasting potato, but it is absolutely the most productive and the longest keeping. We did have a good year for potatoes. It was cooler and wetter than normal, but you can see that these are huge potatoes. I think that that would be about three plants. I dug up about three plants and that's what I got. It's a 50 foot row of these, so probably talking about, or well, definitely talking about hundreds of pounds of potatoes out of this row. And then I have another row of red potatoes. So no shortage of potatoes and I'd have even more if so many weren't exposed to sunlight. 
Uh, when we used to have pigs, I'd feed the sun-exposed ones to the pigs, but now we have to feed them to the goats, but that works too. So I'm gonna go dig some leeks here shortly and then we'll have some potato leek soup and some shepherd's pie this week. And the rest of the potatoes just stay in the ground until frost comes. Hard freezes really, not just a frost, a hard freeze, and then I'll dig the whole bulk up.